All right, well, let me ask you about a different issue you two may or may not be familiar with. <laughs> uh, this is a bill uh, providing that uh, certain communications on social media wouldn't be covered by the open meeting laws, which is another transparency issue mm -hmm. at the Capitol. So, you know, people see this stuff, although it's not widely reported, and they have to wonder uh, why, uh, why spend time thinking up ways to get around the open meeting laws? Why not just be as transparent as possible? Any reaction? I support transparency to our best of our ability to to deliver that uh, as well. You as guys a are in control. You know, best of my your ability, you got to be able I, to have some transparency, right? I I support transparency, and I and I believe that uh, that we're we're making some good headway, and we've got some good laws on transparency. Yeah, uh, but we've this got a not not law. this one, Representative this, Purcell. This, this, this says media forums must be generally, in quotes, open to public participate. No, not generally. The dang well should be open to the public. You know, they should be transparent. I mean, the reason I, 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 I think, you know, about this issue is because why do politicians spend time thinking of ways to circumvent this transparency instead of ways to reinforce and strengthen transparency? And I guess I would, if you know what media forums are talking about, you Twitter, can, Facebook, uh, so, there's a so number So my of them, personal yeah. Twitter should be campaign fire. It should be subject law? to transparency if you and other lawmakers are deciding on issues which affect the people of the state, which should be discussed in an open meeting. That's, that's I guess... I believe that a lot of that is addressed. We can't, I know as a town board member, we couldn't get on the phone and do that. Right, and that's a, a form of electronic communication. But in the social media world, if you can rebrand, if you will, rebrand sure, sure. electronic media to social media, then this is a bill that seems to circumvent that. And well, I, I don't see enough that, concern about it up here. The only so. thing I know for sure is I don't, I don't want um, um, any... I don't want government intrusion on my privacy either. Sure, absolutely. And that, uh, so that's a, there's a big trade-off there. Uh, so I don't know exactly how we how sure. we're going to come down on the on that uh, reform, but uh, um, certainly. Uh, Will you look having, into it, Representative? Uh, 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 do you have a bill number? Right there, six fifty-three. Six fifty-three. Well, sure, sure. Winkler, Quam, uh, Driskowski, and uh, Simon are the authors. Sounds like quite a crew. Yeah, well, absolutely. Well, I won't hold judgment on that, but uh, <laughs> definitely, uh, Representative Albright, any input on this? You know, I, I think just as uh, Representative Purcell um, kind of uh, laid out, there is a difference between uh, open meeting law and uh, the Privacy uh, Data, Pri Data Privacy Act that uh, we struggle with on a regular basis, whether, whether it be with uh, medical records, whether it be with your financial records, whether it be with personal correspondence that uh, really, you know, there is, a, there is a bright line, and but unfortunately that bright line has been squished into more of a gray area. Uh, that legislation, I think, uh, with, with looking at it there, um, it needs to be heard uh, uh, in a robust debate and, and the particulars of it. Uh, talked about, uh, whether it be on the floor or in committee, because no. that certainly goes to the point of, as as you shared, uh, the issue of transparency with the, the dialogue that we have uh, regarding measures that affect every person's life, every hardworking citizen of the state. So um, it, it should be properly vetted. Well, uh, pass no judgment until that happens. No, I can appreciate that. I'm just thinking, as you're speaking about that, that uh, the rule should be, maybe I'm just Fred Flintstone in this thing. I'm just a kid from St. Paul. But if it has something to do with the people's business, it's not private. If it has something to do with your private business, it is private. You should keep it to yourself. I, I, I agree, right? but, I, but I don't want anybody coming at my table at home and when my wife and I are having dinner and Absolutely. we're talking about some, some no way. So, so I, I, yeah. there, we, we, have, we have to have some lines. I understand. For sure, and we are talking about some relatively new media. As I said, the mm -hmm. phone conversation between three members Pretty of the town clear board. Cut. It, it is. Yep. It's clear cut. You can't do that and out, outside of a, a regular mm -hmm. meeting. But, but so so having that line with a tweet, for instance, and how many people were on that tweet and did it get out and go viral and all, all, and who responded. But it's the principle and, of the thing, and, 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 Purcell, isn't it? it? it well, sure, it's the principle. Yeah. Who's going to write hurt on it and how much is that going to cost? 
taxpayer well, money. I mean, the, the principal well, no, takes hang on. the taxpayer you money, right? You guys... Uh, You're talking to a yeah, conservative you, Democrat here. But you know, come on. <laughs> right, heard. You guys are in charge of making sure that you're following the laws that, well, of the well, state. Well, let's, let's yeah. create more government. Well, wait, now hang on a second. Now, <laughs> just take the laws that already exist and right? put them in and, 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 and enforce government. them. All right. 